word on apparitions since many people are attracted by them especially as this century and millennium are drawing to an end not only in this country but also in other countries apparition 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 see ya see ya see ya <laughs> our lord jesus christ the most blessed virgin mary and the saints can appear to anyone as divine providence may decide and God can send visions or thoughts and locutions to anyone he wishes. If such apparitions or locutions are genuine, they are called private revelations. If they are genuine. Public revelation was concluded with the death of the last of the apostles, St. John. That means it's already almost 2,000 years minus 100 when public revelation was concluded. If a private revelation is genuine, it will always be a confirmation of what is already in public revelation. Only public revelation becomes an object of divine or Catholic faith. That is what we must believe with divine or catholic faith dogma only such does the church demand that we all believe the church never imposes belief in a private revelation even when such a private revelation is approved by the church as coming from heaven like Lutz and fatima these are certain that they come from heaven but even then the church does not impose them as objects of catholic faith it is very difficult to know in practice if a reported apparition is really from god or if it is only the fruit of somebody's over fertile imagination somebody's pious ideas somebody who does not distinguish between reality and dream or somebody who has a type of jaundice it is very difficult to know when they are a result of deceit of the devil and even in a genuine private revelation the seer can make mistakes in recounting or interpreting some of the details this has happened even to saints canonized they made mistake in some details they were confused in practice it means that we should test a reported apparition by such questions as the following does it agree entirely with the revealed and defined catholic faith does it lead us to the center of our faith which is where Holy Scripture is, and sacred tradition, and where the Pope and the bishops are? Does it lead us to obey the Pope and the bishops? If you say, the private revelation told us not to mind the Pope and the bishops, we tell you it's not from heaven. It is therefore a mistake if a Christian now makes a reported apparition a central event in Christian life or a test of those who are fervent Christians. If now you test people, if you don't believe in that apparition, you are not a good Catholic. You have the whole thing wrong. It is a negative sign when some Christians follow reported seers or visionaries they follow them they feed daily on their writings and utterances but they won't read the gospels they won't read the catechism of the catholic church they won't read the documents of the pope and they read the the, the documents of see uh, visionary xyz it is a very negative sign when some people disobey or ignore the pope and the bishops in union with him all in the name of a vision or an apparition christ told his apostles anyone who listens to you listens to me anyone who rejects you rejects me and those who reject me reject the one who sent me 
Someone asked me, uh, there is one apparition they reported, are you going on pilgrimage there? I said, oh yes, I go on pilgrimage. But you know where I go on pilgrimage? The chapel, where we have the blessed sacrament in the tabernacle. Where we are not guessing, where we are sure, that's my pilgrimage. Please understand me. I do not say, do not go to Lourdes. Do not go to Fatima. Those are certain. Jerusalem, that's where our faith began. But there are some other places who we don't know whether our lady was ever there or not. I don't go there. They can do good to people. It doesn't prove yet. We don't know. Maybe, may not be. It takes the church years and years to know whether they are genuine. Sometimes it takes 50 years, 100 years. We don't base our faith on such. Because we have solid foundation for our faith already. You want pilgrimage? Jerusalem. Of course. 